this segment brought to you by Pixel Pushers, Chicagoland's number one source for full color printing and graphic design. Hey Haunt Geeks, it's Destiny with Haunt News Network at Trans World 2017, which you may be wondering why I am in a Christmas ornament carriage at a, haunt, or a haunted attractions event. Well, there's a reason for that. I'd like to introduce you to Dwayne from Winterland. Tell me a little bit about why you are here. Why do we have Christmas in October? Well, I guess because uh, we need to bring the bright and cheer to, to Halloween. So um, <laughs> It's like uh, the opposite of Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we brighten the show up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we don't just do Christmas. Uh, we do Halloween as well. But uh, this booth that we're in here right now is all of our Christmas stuff, or, or part of our Christmas stuff. But uh, it ranges everything from a carriage being pulled by a polar bear to a colorful swirl tree ornaments. Um, pretty much, you know, we take we take boring steel and turn it into you know beautiful displays. And uh, kind of the way we look at it is, if you can dream it, we can make it. So uh, it's a lot of fun for us. Awesome. And you did mention early that you do have a, hollow, a more Halloween directed element. Uh, can we go check that out? Absolutely. Continuing with the more Halloween side of what Winterland has brought to Trans World 2017, I have Tara from Winterland. So tell us what you got. Well, we have a lot of different options and a lot of different things that we do. So um, we're entering the Pumpkin Arch, which has been a huge, huge popular piece for us. Um, we are more spooky friendly though. We're not about the gore, which is really weird. Um, and everyone's like, well, why? I'm like, well, I have a child. So we started it uh, spooky friendly. We have a lot of customers who are actually stopping by this booth because they're interested in our more friendly pieces. The candy corn's been a huge hit. Um, the metal displays are really popular because it brings a lighted element and it's fun, but it could still be kind of gory depending on what you do with it. So we're getting a lot of mix, but we have a lot of people looking at the metal pieces and the, um, the more friendly stuff. Because kids like Halloween, too. I know I did. I've yeah. always been in love with it. Oh, yeah. And, like, it's really interesting, you know, where I live, we actually have four places that they do a huge haunt. But the kids are like, well, we want to go, too. But we all know that a seven, eight-year-old child's not going to be able to go through some of the gore stuff. So we were like, well, let's do a spooky, friendly event. And the first one we did, it took off. They literally had kids waiting for, like, two days because they had sold out on their passes. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a great response. So yeah. you know there's definitely a call for that kind yeah. of uh, the kind of products that yeah. you're offering. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and if it, we are interested in learning more about Winterland, whether it's the lights and Christmas or it's the cute mummy with his little bugs on him, uh, we can find you online at winterlandinc.com and all the social medias, correct? Yes, we do have all the social medias, and that is our website, so... It's fun, and I update it a lot. Um, we are custom. I do a, probably about 15 to 20 custom Halloween pieces a year for customers, too. Fantastic. Well, thank you for giving us some of your time, no Tara. You enjoy your trans worlds. I am. It's fun. Well, this has been Destiny with Haunt News Network, bringing you all things haunted.